Boat, Dal, Kali, Kali. Got it. Pair, circle back, a game we're going to make ourselves. Join us. Hi, this is Tweak. I came up with an idea to amuse my grandson. It started with, of all things, the lid to a juice bottle. And I thought, hmm, if I had enough of these lids, I could make some kind of game out of it. That morphed into the memory games we used to play as kids. And it used to be with a deck of cards, but I thought, no, it'd be more fun if I had a disc. That idea morphed into me taking this cap and thinking it's a nice size for a little kid's hands. So I traced out a bunch of this circumference on some white paper and I started drawing some designs. I wanted to create a memory game where you flip over the discs and you see an image and you flip them back and you have to remember where they are and match them up. Lots of fun. So what I did here is I just took my pencils and my colored pencils, regular pencil and a lot of eraser and I made some designs. I made 10 images of each category. So far it was household pets and then toys. And then I was going to double these so I'd have 20 discs per set so you can mix and match as you're going. So I had the circumference that I was looking for and thought, well now what do I put them on? That would be wood. Got online and got some wood discs. So I needed to take my images and fit them onto this disc, but my images were too big. So I took them to my computer, made a copy, and dropped them down by 30% and they ended up looking like this. Here's my kitty image, and I made it a little bit smaller. But first I had to put the disc together. I wanted a double level disc, which makes for a nice picking up, flipping over. So let me show you how I did that. Project supplies you'll need are some wooden discs that are finished and sanded, some colored pencils, images that you create for yourself or you take from online, some varnish, some wood glue, scissors, and most importantly, a sticker maker. So how did I come up with my designs? I knew I wanted to create a memory game, so I knew whatever images I came up with, I would have to have two. Because as you play the memory game, you turn up a tile and you look to find its match. If you don't find it, you turn it back over and you try again until you get all your matches done. Very fun. Um, I knew that I wanted 10 images per set. Like I said, I did a household pet set and a toy set. So I looked for images. That's what a truck looks like. So I drew a truck, duck, boat, etc. for toys. I especially like the little doll and the bear. I like to draw, so this was pretty easy for me. For the cat and the dog and the rabbit, the pets were interesting because I went online and looked up the top 10 pets in the United States right now. Dog came out first, but I was surprised cats were not second. Snakes were second. Okay, that was surprising. So I kind of went with the list as to what's popular in our country. Birds, fish, lizards. And I created these stickers. My constraints in creating them, though, were I was trying to keep them in the circumference of this lid that I had, which is also too big for my sticker maker. So that's why I had to reduce the image down by 30% and then feed these images through the sticker maker and it worked out great. I love the sticker maker. What a great and not very expensive tool to have to create this really fun game. So the first thing we do is to take the two pieces of wood. Now I thought these were too thin so I'm going to sandwich them together, give them a little more height. They're easier to grab. That's really easy to do. Take some wood glue. Let's put a little bit of wood glue in the center of this disc. And sandwich them together. And I just put some firm pressure. I don't mind that there's a gap there. I think that adds a little bit of interest. So I'm just holding it together. And this is fast bonding wood glue. In just a few minutes it bonds. And then I would let it dry and make as many of these little disc sandwiches that you'd want. 
to fit in your set. In my case, I made 60 of them. I needed 120 discs total to make 60. In my household pets images, it didn't make the top 10, but pigs are a favorite pet for a lot of people in this country. So I'm going to draw, add to this collection, I'm going to draw a pig. And I'm just going to freehand it. So let's see, we got a head. Make sure my eraser is nearby. Ears. The pigs are nice and round. So round body. We got a round front. And let's see. We got the little teeny eyes. Curly tail going up. Doesn't look very piggy, does he? That looks way too skinny. But I'll try to fix that. There. I think your ears are not piggy. There. That suits me better. I don't have any pink pets on the list here, so he'll be a nice colorful piggy. Now I'm going to take my pinks. I've got a couple here. And I'm just going to start filling them in. Let's see. What's so fun about making this set is any kind of artwork would work. You can have animals, insects, flowers. There's my piggy, ready to be cut out and added to the menagerie of our circle bags. I drew my piggy and I copied the whole image. Then I took that copy and dropped it by 30% to make the image smaller so I could fit it on top of the circle back disc. And I've got two, I've cut this one out already. And I'll cut this one out. I'm not cutting into my original artwork. It's nice having the, the copies. Got the piggies done, two piggies. I am going to have two of the discs ready. But first I have to turn these guys into stickers. So get our sticker maker and place in and simply pull down. And as your image starts to come out, I want to save not have so much of a gap between them. I want to save as much of the tape as I can and pull out the next one. And there you have the two piggies together. Done. To make the adhesive work, you want to rub on the image. Nice product. Rub and peel. Yeah, I just do it as long as I want to. <laughs> so now we're going to peel this off. Sticky. Comes off and leaves the piggy image behind. There we go. I have my little stickers. Which side do I like better? Peel off and stick onto the disc. Okay, once he's down, he's down. <laughs> and do the same here. Pretty well done, huh? I've got my two piggies ready. I thought it'd be fun to add a couple more discs that had our logo in them. Maybe they could be for bonus points. I don't know, make the game a little more fun. So I'm gonna take images. Here again, I had printed them out and I'm gonna cut them out and do just what I did to the piggies. Cut out the image. Turn it into a sticker, apply it to the disc. I'm going to leave a little bit of an edge. There's one, and do one more. These uh, little discs are going to go through quite a lot with little hands tossing them here and about. There we go, we've got our two images. I'm going to take our sticker maker. You slip your image and I'm going to face it image side up. I'm just gonna make sure it's tucked in there. And then I'm gonna pull down like you would just pull down on tape. Once 
once I've rubbed it up a little bit, I'm going to peel it apart. And I have my stickers. Oops! Oh, I guess that's got a sticker on it now, too. So that's got a permanent adhesive on it. And I'm just going to attach it to the top of the wood. Try to line it up if I can, pretty center, but you know what? That's pretty good, and it doesn't matter that much. And do another. Now I'm going to add some varnish. I love that sticker method because it's nice and flat against the surface of the wood. Hot glue would leave a bump, even Elmer's, Mod Podge. I just wanted it to be nice and flush with the wood. And I'm thinking because that's paper on the top, I want to add a little more color to our image, our logo. I'm just going to put some yellow in there. I snazzed it up just a little bit. So I went with colored pencils and it was a breeze. Very nice. Do this one. And all my images for the game, I made sets of two. Time to varnish. That's very simple, simple, simple. Gloss varnish. I'm just going to drop a little bit on the top here. Not too much. A drop. And I'm just going to spread it around. And I did do two coats. But the varnish brings out the color in the wood and it seals the paper and you can see the color isn't bleeding at all. So that's why I really like the colored pencils for this project. The longest part of this project is creating your images if you're going to do them yourself as I did. Our final two pieces are finished. I varnished them twice. I can add them into the mix. This is my set currently and let's demonstrate for a little kid you lay them all out, give them a time, even if you just count to yourself, and then you say go, and they quick grab as many as they can of the different items. I see two rabbits, I see two bears, I see a cow, I see two cats. That is fun, and whoever gets the most, of course, wins. Another thing you can do if you want to add a little more intrigue, you might want to make it a little more difficult, Flip them all down like a memory game. This is circle back. We're going to circle back onto these and start flipping. You take your turn. Let's see, there's a duck. There's a bear. Let's see. Bear and bear. Got it. And there you have it. The circle back game. You've made it. Your own artwork. Something you can share with your whole family. Inexpensive and lots of fun. So if you like what you've seen here today, subscribe to our channel, give us a like, jingle that bell so you'll know when new episodes are coming along. Have some fun, play the circle back game, you made it yourself. See you again.